Welcome back, and now it's time for our first semi-final bout in the King of Pancras tournament, and we're going to see Minoru Suzuki versus Manabu Yamada. Josh, a very intriguing matchup. Uh, yeah, you have the two veterans with Yamada and Suzuki, both actually coming from varied backgrounds. Uh, Suzuki coming from the UWF uh, era of things, and uh, Yamada actually coming from Satoru Sayama's Shuto leg of mixed martial arts. Uh, here they are, though, meeting in the Pancras ring under the same set of rules and under the same guidelines and going for the same belt. All right, let's see what happens. The winner moves on to the final. Minoru Suzuki versus Manabu Yamada. All right, now to the ring. Manabu Yamada, Yamada in the yellow. Now he is an, es an escape artist, Josh. He once lasted 30 minutes in the ring against Wayne Shamrock. No easy feat. Yeah, very tough guy in Yamada. Giving up a little bit in height to Suzuki, but uh, the, the heavier of the two, as you can see, he's very compact and, and very stoutly built. Suzuki, though, getting the initial takedown and getting the, the waist ride from behind is Suzuki as he tries to break Yamada down here. And Suzuki, a very active, moving all around the ring, Josh. Yeah, very quick effort on Suzuki's part, really moving, hustling on here, uh, looking to pry that arm free. And Yamada rolls over to his back, looking to secure you know, Suzuki's arms. It's Suzuki just all over Yamada to start with. Back, side, front. I don't think Yamada even knows where he's going to be coming from. No, uh, he's, Suzuki's working all angles as he's breaking him down there, looking to hook the ankle. But uh, Yamada clearing, turning, rotating, and trying again to get to a defensive posture. And Suzuki just, again, spinning around, taking the back, and continuing to stay in control and on top of Yamada early on in their match. And we see Suzuki doing very well moving around the mat. If you're Yamada, do you want to get back on your feet for a little bit here? Mm, Yamada also might be sitting, you know, waiting for Suzuki to expend uh, maybe too much energy to finish off strong later in the fight. But uh, Yamada, uh, as, we'll as we've come to see, is... Uh, He's a very relaxed fighter, and uh, although he's caught in a nasty face lock attempt by and Suzuki right now. Yamada's going to have to get out of this somehow, and, Suzuki, and he does. Suzuki lets go of the hold. Yamada fighting hands, managed to create some space. And Suzuki not giving up, trying to apply that hold once more. And Yamada, nice little reverse, and now he's on top of Suzuki. Very patient, very calm is Yamada in the yellow, moving into the center of the ring. Very wise move because now Suzuki is away from the rope. So should Yamada apply a submission hold, Suzuki cannot escape. Yamada working on top. Suzuki trying to bridge Yamada off. As these two grapple for position here. Both, re both fighters have terrific records so far. Yamada 7-1, and one. Suzuki at 11-3. Who did those three losses come to? Funaki, Rutan, and Maurice Smith. So some pretty big names that Suzuki has lost to. Yamada mounted here as catching Suzuki's neck. And Suzuki quickly moves his feet a foot to the rope, gets an escape. Minus one point. He has two more remaining. And Josh, of course, you might grab the rope sometimes, but you don't have to. You can also use your feet. Or right, your exactly. Uh, Suzuki, I think, really getting caught off guard. Never saw it coming and figured he'd be able to escape that. High kick by Yamada. Caught, though, by Suzuki. And down to the mat they go. Suzuki looking for that heel hook. And Yamada, just too experienced to get caught in that so easily. Very nice job, Yamada, showing those uh, escape skills. As Suzuki goes for it one more time. Yamada looking for his own heel hook as Suzuki tries to reposition to attack the leg of Manabu Yamada. Suzuki, still with a hold of Yamada's foot. Now working on the arms. Trying to break that grip free so that he can get a good hold on that heel hook. Suzuki again working back toward him. Yamada diligently fighting the hands, trying not to give him a good grip on that leg. Ooh, oh, Suzuki almost got it there. Yamada going, manages to slip out again. Going from one side to the next is Yamada with an Achilles lock there, but... Uh, I think the advantage has to go to Suzuki with the heel hook, trumping the Achilles lock. And so far, Josh, uh, brilliant technical skills shown by both fighters. 
Yamada looking to suck Suzuki back. Maybe get his neck again. Suzuki, though, keeping a hold of that ankle and electing to turn and face Yamada into the full guard. The crowd appreciating uh, the efforts of these fighters. As they actually uh, are in front of 11,000 fans right now in Ryogoku Kokugi Khan. And Josh, uh, what was the largest number of attendants in a fight that you participated in? Do you know? Uh, wow, that's a good question, Rob. I think it was somewhere around 50,000. Now, do you feed off the crowd's energy? <laughs> For 50,000 screaming fans, you could get drunk on that energy whether you're a fighter or not. The fight, uh, does the ref does restart the fight. Both fighters now on their feet. Suzuki looking, I, I suppose, for his opportunity to get that takedown again. But Yamada moving forward. And Yamada now uh, following Suzuki around the ring. Five minutes passed. And a big shote from Yamada following with a high kick, Suzuki. And Suzuki does manage to get that takedown and now he has Yamada on his back. Suzuki pulling Yamada back, looking to uh, take the back there and secure a choke or maybe a face lock from behind against the, uh, the, the fighter here, Yamada, who is leading one escape to zero. And with five minutes remaining, uh, Suzuki has to be looking to uh, press the action. Suzuki knows in five minutes, in five minutes, it, it seems like a long time, but uh, it really can be very difficult to, to catch or to knock an opponent down with only five minutes. And Yama a, Yamada in a very vulnerable position here, Josh. Yamada again, getting caught in that, uh, that start of a sleeper or a face lock there, but always managing to get his way out as he hits a, hits a sit out and tries to come on top of Suzuki. Suzuki, however, continuing to keep the top position, catching that leg. Yamada spinning, trying to relieve the pressure. And, and Yamada going for Suzuki's leg at the same time. Both men jostling for legs as eventually Yamada bails out and Suzuki climbs on top. And all right, so far a very quick start to this. Uh, Yamada taking the early lead, but Minoru Suzuki, you can never count him out. Right, one mistake on Suzuki's part. Now he it looks like he feels the pressure that he's got to have to catch up and catch uh, Yamada either to get the submission or, or force an escape here at some point. Uh, otherwise, his... King of Pancras tournament run is going to be cut short here in the semifinals. All right, Minoru Suzuki losing so far. Can he come back? Find out after the break. 